Hi everyone, my name is Little Fami Ade. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we want to look at how international students, foreign students, can increase their chances of PR in Canada. That is permanent residency in Canada after their studies. So if you are still thinking of a career path, I want to give us some uh, discipline we can choose. You can pursue qualification in healthcare, one. The second one being science, technology, engineering, and maths. They call it STEM. The third being trade. The fourth one, transport. Then the fifth one is agriculture and agri-food. Agriculture and agri-food. That is for students. I'm talking to students right now. For those that want to pursue their career, that want to pursue their educational career in Canada, and they want to stay and live there after their studies. This is a discipline that they can venture into. I mean, they can uh, put it for. Then, the other way of improving your chances is you improve your language abilities. Canada launched French language proficiency category based draws and they are focused on these draws which will continue till 2026. What does that mean? You need to learn how to speak in French. Aside English, learn French. Learn French. Those are the two national language in Canada. To be eligible, candidates must score minimum of seven on all four language abilities. What are the language abilities? The reading, you must be able to read the French. You must be able to write in French. You must be able to speak, communicate in French. And you must be able to understand, listen. That's listening. On the universe, the competence, linguistic, Canadian, NCLC. That is the body that take care of that. So you need to improve your uh, French, how to speak in French, aside English, so that you can communicate well with uh, the locals. Then the third thing you can do is you validate all your degrees. One thing we must all know is that for you to have a good, for you to have the PR. You must have good points and your qualifications, they are very important. All your degrees, they are very, very important. Put them together. Canadian Express Entry System award points for education. Degrees done outside Canada could get validated by the designated organization approved by Canadian government like WES, W-E-S. Let me take it again. Canadian Express Entry System award points for education. Degrees done outside Canada could get validated, validated by the designated organization approved by Canadian government. So what does that mean? If you have your master's in Nigeria, you have your master's in another country, that's where you study, put all the degrees together. Let them be validated by the designated organizations it will also give you points then the fourth one is stay abreast of all changing immigration policies stay abreast of all changing immigration policies your stay in canada is based on your age yes when you are still in your early 20s yes canada is good for you early 20s early 30s when you are getting to 40, it will be very difficult for you to get PR. Age is important. Your skills, your experience, work experience, your skills, your qualification, like I said, your degrees. Then the occupation. Are you in the healthcare system, in the agro, you know, all this, they all add up. They all add up. Canada PR cards are valid for five years and occasionally the PR cards are only valid for one year and they speak English in Canada. I know that's why many of us are going to Canada but then you need to learn how to communicate in French. It's very important and it will boost your PR as an international student. 
I hope I've been understood with this few points of mine. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to reply. And don't forget to refer people. See you some other time. Bye.